Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. Today we're going to be working on this nifty foam neck seal. Okay, so uh, I'm working on the red hood, helmet, and other parts of the uh, ensemble, and I needed to have some type of, uh, I think it's called a gorset, or a, you know, a neck seal, let's just call it a neck seal. Uh, for the for the costume, I love Tiger Stone effects uh, neck piece. It is amazing. Look it up. Uh, Chris Cosplay used it for his, and a lot of people use it. It is fantastic. It's also crazy expensive. I'm sure, it's worth it. It's beautiful quality. Uh, I cannot see spending that kind of money on that. So uh, I broke out the two millimeter EVA foam. And that's what this is, 2 Miller EVA, some we're just cut in, and we're going to go over to the work area and uh, make this. Now, the funny thing with this video is, I was working on something else, and I just sort of figured, well, let me just try to fool around with a pattern. And so I started, I kind of made this on accident, so there's not a ton of video, but it sort of walks you through the basics, and then of course, uh, you know, shows you how to make your plans and cut it and everything and paint it. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's go over to the work area. Okay, so I measured my neck and made sure that all the pieces were going to be pretty darn close. And I actually used a spool to get that sort of nice curve so I knew it would be straight. And now I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the edge of this one neck piece and just on the face, right on the edge here, because I don't want there to be a seam. I want this sort of butt right up against that edge. So I just really carefully go from the face to that. Now, I'm actually redoing this, like miming it, but you cut thin lines here. And you probably, I probably should have done this earlier because I had to sort of lay this out flat. By cutting these fine lines and then going over it with a heat gun, it makes those lines stand out and get bigger. Now, again, we're using two millimeter foam, so do not cut very deep or you will cut through it. And you can see it also helps to um, shine up the, um, foam and that's because it's sort of uh, sealing it off but we're going to end up doing some painting later now it's time to put a little velcro on so we sort of see where this is going to fall and we test out to make sure that the back is pretty close we're going to be doing some trimming but again i'm really making this one up on the fly now on this side we're really going to just butt up edge to edge here so we don't have a seam and again dry both pieces thoroughly and then put together but again remember we're using two millimeter foam and if you try to pull them apart it will just rip the foam now we're going to put a little bit of velcro probably way too much on the back of the gator peel it off and stick this other side on so now we have a way to get this piece off now we still have to finish uh finish this up and figure out how we're going to get the actual back of the neck piece off. So again, we do the same thing as we did in the front. We add a little bit of glue to the edges so that uh, it sits is sort of flat and as flush as possible. And we put it, of course, to both sides, let it dry and or use your heat gun to sort of dry it and then go ahead and just put those together so that uh, they're going to work. Now, how do we get this going? Now, we want this to be but, uh, sort of flush like the other side so we don't see a big seam so what i did was i added a tab to the bottom again using the two millimeter foam and we're just going to put a little velcro here to hold those yes the velcro gives it a little bit of depth so it doesn't lie perfectly flush but i did test this out before i did this and the jacket covers it so sometimes yes you have to obfuscate <laughs> your um your sort of creative uh I don't want to say foibles because it's just a, well, it's a funny word, so why not say it? But it, uh, <laughs> things aren't going to be perfect. Uh, do the best you can and uh, find ways to make them work, right? Mm -hmm. So now I can just pop this side off and uh, then the neck piece off and it comes right off. There you go. A very cheap two millimeter neck gaiter that I think is going to look pretty good. It looks kind of funky like this, right? Let's go ahead and put this on. So it goes on, pretty, Velcro, it goes on pretty easily, you just sort of do this, you find that Velcro in the back, and I got something stuck, there we go, 
sort of move this thing down. And then this piece, this is a little tricky to get this yourself, uh, especially without a mirror. But then this piece sort of just goes down. I can't really get to that myself. Can I? That was a little bit of a design flaw. But actually, wait, if I just sort of relax, I easily can get it. Okay. There we go. So, yes, you can sort of see this seal, but I'm going to be wearing a jacket. So, I don't really care because it'll be covered up. And as you can see, I mean, I, I've got, it's two millimeter foam. So I've got a lot of mobility. And I think the ridges look nice. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I am tempted to put that helmet on to see how it looks with the, uh, with the neck piece, but I'm not going to, because it's not done yet. And the last time I touched it, it was wet and I had to start repainting it again. So I'm not touching it. So here we go, next seal for the Red Hood build. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was a fun, quick build. Uh, again, if you like the video, hit like, hit the little bell to get instant notifications. Uh, everything that I use to make this, of course, is in the description, or you can go to 3dprintedpropsgear.com and check it all out. Those are affiliate links, and whatever you buy there, you uh, help out the channel. So that's really cool. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back with some more videos very soon.